Hello, hello. This is Casey Snow, and I will be streaming tonight, doing a little bit of a dragon series that I'm working on. I will be basing my designs off of this little guy. I don't know how to pronounce this. Cyphoteron Cyph Ledronus, maybe? Um, anyway, I'm doing a series of dragons based on sea slugs. And I haven't worked on it in a while, so I figured I would just do this tonight. Um, kind of revisit it. And yeah, looking forward to doing some creature designs tonight. So, um, I'll try to pull up in a little bit maybe some of the past ones that I've done. But I don't know where they are right now, and I should probably start drawing. So <laughs> uh, I will. I will maybe take a break later and try to dig those out. I was kind of looking through, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> um, oh wait, maybe they're in here. Okay, yeah. So if you're interested in any of the past designs, I've got a couple here. This is the most recent one that I did last time, and there is a sketch for one that I guess kind of counts. I never really redid the one that that was based on, I don't think, so um, that will just count for that one. <laughs> and then here's a, one of the other ones. So I've only done three or four so far. Oh, and then here's my favorite one so far. Is did it, this little guy. He was fun to work on for sure. So I will be working on this, but tonight I will be basing my design on this one. Right here, it's a brown one. I think he's pretty neat. I don't know, I'm gonna do some sketches and see what I come up with. Mm -hmm. I think I've announced this everywhere that I wanted to announce it. But, no, eh, I'll check later. It's fine. People can find me if they wanna find me. I'll be here. Bam. I went ahead and went back to my old streaming music because that other stuff I found was getting super annoying. So, eventually, hopefully, I'll actually find some decent music to stream to. But for now, that's what I got. Oh, better turn my slap bot. Hang on. Totally forgot to turn on my chat bot. So, nobody do anything bad right now. And there's only a couple of you in here anyway, so I'm sure it'll be fine. And it doesn't affect YouTube anyway. <laughs> so. Alright. Um, go on. I wish there was a way to keep that reference picture on screen. So sorry about that. Dashboard. Console. Perfect. Alright. I'm good to go. So I'm thinking because this one is kind of a very graceful to me looking sea slug. <laughs> it kind of also reminds me of like a plane. So I think I might try to do a design based on that. Maybe like something with propellers. I don't know. Here's some other picture like angles of the same creature. It's very cute. I really like it. it kind of almost looks like it has these big dark eyes right here. So I might play with that a little bit. Very pear shaped creature. Looks like a Pokemon, though. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to do some shape studies first. Why is this open? Let me just kind of see where that goes. I do like his little collapsible wing things. Maybe I'll play with that a little bit. Just looks really graceful to me. Hmm. So, let me test my chat. Hang on. Test. Should show up in everybody's chat. 
So, the question is, what kind of dragon do we want to do here? I do like the little hunchback thing. Maybe I can play with that somehow. Or I could do a wyvern. Oops, sorry. Definitely clicked the wrong one just then. <laughs> also, please let me know if the music is too loud or if the mic isn't working right. Sometimes that happens to me. I never really know if it's all coming together correctly. So, if you hear anything weird, just give me a shout. I'm gonna fix my little camera a little bit. Okay. Oh, hey, Dream. How's it going? Hey, you're off work early today. That's good. Sound good, but the video is kind of dark. Hmm. I don't know. Really? Hmm. I don't know if I can fix that. Hmm. Let me just try to pop a light on and see if that helps. Is that better? I don't know if that did anything. <laughs> A little extra light, maybe? Okay. So, like, you can't see me at all? Because on my screen it looks like I see myself. Oh, wow! Phones for work are down. That's kind of inconvenient. Well, congratulations on your random day off. <laughs> Sounds like a good surprise to me. All right, I think I'm going to close my YouTube thing because it's laggy. Cool. Okay, closing, closing, closing. Close. Don't need all, I don't know why I have so many windows open all the time. <laughs> if Ryu was here, she would be telling me to get with it. Okay, there we go. Chat, restream, we're good. Okay. Yep, so I'm just kind of, I really wish there was a way I could get this to stay on top, but I don't think that there is. Stay on top? Stay on top? Stay on top? Nope. So, oh well. I'll just, sorry, I'm going to have to slide it over here because I can't, I can't have it keep disappearing like that. Um, cool, what'd you do with your day off? I mean, anything exciting? <laughs> I want to make this like a little baby dragon, actually. It's kind of cute. It's got a cute little dragon tail. I'm really in the mood draw cute things tonight. this though. It's a little too generic. Hmm. One of these will stick <laughs> eventually. Yeah, video's fine. was only a little dark. Oh, okay. Hey, Sina. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Just in time for dragon draws. do this. 
So this one's really interesting because it's got this, this weird tail thing that's like almost an under sail. Let me show you the one I'm working from just so you can see too. So now I'm working from this brown one. So it's got this really long like... I don't know if you can see that, but it's like this weird like... At least that's what it looks like. Maybe, maybe these pictures are misleading. Hang on. Perhaps I should look up this. Look up an alternative picture just in case. Let's see. Siphoterra. Why is Latin so weird? Ladrones. Okay. Images. It's still kind of hard to tell. Whoa, what is that? These things are so crazy looking. Not a vegetable. It's new to videos after catching up with a bit of cleaning. I'm usually only taking Sundays off right now. Nice. So it was nice having nothing to do but relax for a minute instead of work, 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 work. Errands and cleaning and then back to work. <laughs> Dude, I so know that feel. That is 100% my life. <laughs> it's like work, 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 work. Oh, and you need to clean a little and do some errands and maybe spend time with your boyfriend. Okay, go back to work now. Like. And I might be picking up a part-time job soon, if certain things don't fall into place. So, yeah, so it's got this little tail. How weird. Okay, so I need to incorporate this tail somehow. This weird dangly tadpole tail into this design. But how, she asked. Such an odd looking creature. Look at this picture of it. It's crazy looking. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll make a tentacle face monster dragon thing. Because everybody likes tentacle face. It's like you wake up on your day off and go, I'm gonna get this done and this done and do this for fun after I finish what I need to today. Yes, that's 100% how I am. I totally understand what you're saying. And then by the time you're cleaning and errands are done, there's no time or you're too tired for the for the fun stuff. Yep, 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 yep. Or you go the opposite direction like I did last weekend and totally just neglect everything you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> and just do fun stuff, and then have all of their regret on Monday. Which is, you know, also a really terrible plan for life in general. Okay, I don't know if I like this totally, but there is something here. I just don't know what. Adulting is annoying. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, honestly, I don't even think it's that hard. It's just, I, it's just mindless. <laughs> like, you just have to fill your day with so many mundane tasks. I just, yeah. I guess it, the hard part is like making yourself do those tasks, really. We should make other people do it for us so we can go back to cookies and snack time and naps. Right. So either be man children and women children or hire a butler or a personal accountant or somebody to take care of all of those things. Puts a whole new... Puts a whole new spin on Batman, actually. <laughs> he's really a man child. I mean, he's, lit he's literally a guy who just wants to go do what he wants to do and has a butler take care of his adult things. Hmm. Well. Batman child? <laughs> Batman child? Yep, that's totally what I'm calling him now. Thank you for this revelation. I'll hold it dear to my heart.
totally want to give this thing like the most ridiculous type of limbs ever. Okay. There, I do think there is something I like about this. Just not quite big enough. with this design. I don't know. I do kind of like these little inside things though. This looks like a butterfly's wing. Although something kind of in me makes me want to like go a little crazier with the tentacles here. I do miss snack time though. Except for the part where I have snack time like all day. So that's basically just like my day instead of managing my intake like a responsible adult person. I don't know if I like these, like, super long slippers, though. That's why we have shift rotations. <laughs> True. So what happened to you guys this week? Anything exciting? Probably should have posted on DeviantArt that I do this. I just feel like I'm super annoying on DeviantArt because like, I don't post there enough for me to be making this many stream posts all the time, I don't feel like. Which you would think would be something that would light a fire under me to post more on DeviantArt, but like, I don't know. I don't ever seem to manage to make that happen. That's what I was able to do when shift rotation comes around. Yeah. Just like hide in the break room and eat cookies. Maybe I would like it better. Smaller. Perhaps. I think it might actually be like the angle that I'm drawing this at that I don't like. Oh, why is my computer lagging like this? That's never a good sign. What's happening? Is my stream lagging? No, it doesn't seem to be. Hmm. 
tricky, tricky. I like the butterfly wings, so maybe I'll just try to do something based on that. How can I incorporate them? guys do when you do creature design? Do you usually start with shapes or do you just kind of draw ideas or even do creature design? I'm not sure if I like either of these really.
Mm, I'm kind of stuck. I do feel like it kind of looks like a stingray. Maybe I could design a stingray looking dragon. happened. Oh, someone gave me some bits. Oh, here you. <laughs> Aw, thank you. So nice. You're not, there's not a whole lot going on right now. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. <laughs> thank you. How are you doing? Whoops, just closed my chat. Not bad. What do you mean it's just Ryu? There's no such thing as just Ryu. Blasphemy. Ugh, what are you up to? Oh, what am I up to? You know, trying to figure out how to turn this into a dragon. Um, so far this is what I got. I don't know how I feel about it. Not super confident. I think there's parts of it that I like and other parts of it that I don't think are working. So, you know, um, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Can you work with less? I mean, thanks. Aw, thank you. I kind of like this one a little bit better, but to me they just look too sea sluggish. I think I'm not breaking from the design enough. Like the... I don't know. I'm not breaking from the existing look enough, I think. So, I'm gonna keep trying and see what I can come up with. I do like the mask thing on the face. I don't know if I like it like that, but... I don't know. There's something here. All of these pieces combined can make something. <laughs> Wise words. Just gotta figure out what I want. How's your week been? What have you been up to? Tell me stuff. Explain your life. I need to know. all these pieces combined, I am Silly Sea Slug Dragon. Or something, I don't know. Nobody really knows. It's a mystery. Absolutely nothing? Really? Are you still on vacay? Extended vacay? surprising. Did you ever get your training done for the new job? Wow, hey, how are you liking that though? That's gotta be pretty nice, just kinda catching up on life. Vacation till Thursday, excellent. Stressing over not stressing. Rio. Rio. <laughs> Come on now. Do not stress because you're not stressed. That's just silly talk. You know better. I should think. Oh, he's got chicken legs. Can't help it. Well, you gotta learn how. 
Gotta learn how to help it. It's not healthy. Stop. It's called having an average day. It's called having a normal life. Oh, don't look at me. I'm stressed all the time. I'm a terrible mentor. No, I'm actually not that stressed right now. I'm actually doing pretty good. But, was stressed for a long time. I mean, you know, you just gotta learn to let go of what you can't control. Which is way easier to say than to do, but... <laughs> I mean, you can, I believe you can do this. You know how. You just forgot how. Just channel your inner 12-year-old. Remember? Remember that good time? That good old age of 12? When you're too young to work? You can kind of do whatever you want. It's a great time. You should do this. I think I like this one a little better. I don't know. What you think? when you wanted to work and couldn't? Are you serious? You wanted to work when you were 12? That can't be true. All we did was sit around and play Ligaya. Watch old movies. <laughs> you did not want to work. Did you really? When you were 12? Oh my gosh. Where, you, you got your whole life to work. That was, man, when I was 12, I was like, I'm so glad I don't have to pay bills right now. <laughs> I totally appreciated being 12. That was the best age. It's like, I can draw all day, or I can read, or I can play video games, or I can go outside. So much good. I mean, this kind of just looks like a dragon with a butterfly bum. I'm not sure how I feel about any of these. Hmm. Here's my picture. Yes, lurking is totally more than welcome. <laughs> Anxiety and stress is no fun, but yeah, like the what ifs are what will get you because maybe it'll happen, maybe not, but just do your best and see because what's thinking about it doing besides sabotaging you? Exactly. Like literally worrying only means I get less sleep and I'm more tired. That's kind of how I feel about it. I don't know. Got to learn how to woo saw. Just let it go. What is it? The serenity prayer? Grant me the serenity to change the things I can and accept the things I can't. Or something like that. Something along that, those lines of wisdom, I think, is trite and true, maybe? I mean, there's reasons sayings are sayings. Because they have life applications. Here, I can pull up my, my list that you want me to give you some inspirational quotes. Uh, favorite quotes. Let's see. <clears throat> what can I read you? About... Oh, here. Um... Um, let's see, adversity, challenges, and hardship, attitude, and gratitude, that's important. Be grateful for things, that will help you not be stressed. I don't have any about stress, dang it. This is a very lacking list. All I have is stuff about <laughs> attitude and gratitude. Here's one that I like a lot. <laughs> You drown, not by falling into a river, but by staying submerged in it. You can fall into the river of stress, but don't stay submerged there. Um. <laughs> anyway. I really do think attitude has a lot of power. 
all joking aside. Want a job when you were 10? What? Where was your childhood? He always worked and I was ecstatic when I was finally able to get one at 15. For the chill person in terms of not stressing, let must do this. So, okay. But in college, I had anxiety so badly I got insomnia and couldn't eat properly. Oh my. Yeah, that's just like... That's intense. Yeah, Rhea has the tendency to bottle. She calls it hiding, but it's really just bottling. And then when it explodes, it explodes and she just dies. I see you there, Rhea. I know what it looks like, so do the same thing. Janitorial work at a local water park. Really? That was your first job? I thought your first job was at Albertsons. Just around the bend. <laughs> right, hiding. Mm -hmm. No, it's not the same thing as bottling. Because I guess to me, hiding means you just hide it for the moment and then you deal with it. Bottling. When you just pretend it doesn't exist <laughs> until you can't acknowledge it because the pressure has built up underneath the bottle cap for so long that it explodes. That is what I think happens. Well, that's right. You did work at NRH2O. Oh, hey, thanks, Doodlebot. I actually needed that reminder today. Save. Oh, shoot. I didn't save any of it. Hmm. Well, good thing it has Doodlebot. Oh, dang it. I'm in the wrong file. I just realized I have one file for all my sea slug designs and I totally forgot to... Okay, let me just open that. Totally forgot to start in that file. Shoot. It's been so long since I worked on these. Okay. Um, 03 is done. So let's get that in there. Boop. 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 Um, okay. This one is 04. I mean... Like I said, you're long overdue for a break. That's for sure. Copy and new layer and paste. Oh, those are all kinds of messed up. Okay. Oh, poopy monkey. That's not what I wanted either. I doing this wrong? Hang on. Paste. Ah, oh, free transform. That is what I want. Okay. Dude, there we go. Alright, well, I can get rid of this now. Yup. Cancel. No, go away. See the changes now. Okay, that's really dark. I'm so sorry. I don't know why my background is so dark. Okay, cool. No worries. I sort of used to bottle, but then it would explode out and snowball into a whole meltdown of things going on for the past month or more, and my poor mom just had to listen to me cry and vent for like an hour or two. Yeah, I definitely do that. This was in junior high and middle school, by the way. I think high school I only did that once or twice because I knew better to talk about it. I always thought talking about it was complaining. Just don't let it get under my skin, but it did. Yeah. Just gotta get better about the whole acknowledging and talking about a thing. Dude, I'm I'm right there with you. That's that's been like a huge topic of conversation lately in my own life. Um, the problem is that Matt and I both do that, and so a lot of things have been coming to the surface for good, like in good ways. But it's just like it's definitely a life skill. Like it's really easy to be like, no, I don't need to talk about it. I'm fine. But not talking about it is terrible. Good for you, Senna. That's good. I'm trying to get better about it. Still internalize even when I don't mean to. I'm aware, but I know to talk about it before letting myself get really sick and paranoid like in college. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mentioned how I didn't really want to cook, but I'd start cooking if he was hungry. So he got up and went to go pick something up for dinner when I said that we didn't need to spend the money. He pointed out it was my check he was spending and then he hurried off in the car. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh man. That's funny. Hmm. 
So hopefully you get something good. Okay. Yeah, now I'm hungry. I've gotta stop the snacking behavior every time I stream. An ice cube down his back? Nice. Alright. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Maybe this one. Maybe this one will get better. Uh, can you guys even see what's on screen right now? I feel like it's so dark. Yeah, that's how I feel. I think I'm gonna add a little... extra layer here. Brighten it up just a little bit. There we go. Oof. It was hurting my eyes. It was so dark. Okay. And then I'll get rid of that when I'm ready to color. Yeah, I think I upped it to 50. I don't know. I did something. Meh. Something better than almost black, I think. Well, I just like painting on the darker backgrounds because I have a lot of trouble, like, like being able to work in the darks for some reason. Like, I always kind of stay in the midtones range when I paint, or the brights, and my shadows are just never quite shadowy enough, in my opinion. So I'm trying to get better about that. Trying. being the keyword there. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't know. to do for the hind legs here. I almost don't want hind legs and just want like more tendril-y. Like maybe there used to be hind legs and they just evolved away or something. Ugh, something between these two things I think is what I want. plus this equals something that's perfect and that I want. See if I can make that happen. Again. 
know. Do I like this? Really should be recording these. I need to figure out a way to do that better. It's time to start making some painting videos again. I don't know. Anyone have thoughts? Am I even close to something that looks decent? <laughs> Feel free to pipe up if you have an opinion to share. I don't know if I like those long dangly things. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't think they're executed well. They just look like weird legs. I like that part. Maybe I'll just do spikes coming off the end. No, no, it's done. I don't know, I'm stuck. Maybe he doesn't need hind legs. Maybe it's just like a hippocampus dragon. <laughs> Maybe like a weird. The other idea I had was maybe making it like a. Like drawing a big flower here and making it look like, oh, this is the tiny dragon. <laughs> like a tiny butterfly dragon. Like something like, like this. Probably move this leg here or something. And just have him be on like a little. I don't know. Rose nail. <laughs> something. I do kind of like this shape though. I maybe I like this drawing the best because it's. I mean, those are basically the same designs. I don't know, what do you think? Kinda, I kind of feel like it's one of these. Eh, questions. I don't know what to do. It's making me hungry. This one definitely has more like a horsey kind of a face shape. Maybe I'll do a few spines coming off even though it only has one in the picture. No. Or not. get so tired when I do this. Oh, hey, Shadow. How's it going? How have you been? I'm trying to decide which one I like better. This is the, uh, critter I'm working from today. If I could make it smaller, I would, but I can't. Today wasn't that good. Oh, oh no. What happened? Oh, I'm so stuck. I don't know what to I don't know which one I like. Um, sorry. Gossip is the worst. It's so ugly when people decide to participate in that kind of thing. Well, we won't say mean, untrue things about you. Hmm. Decisions. I 
Oh no, you lost potential friends. You mean like because people now have a bad opinion of you? Is this like at work or at school or? Hey, but if they're the kind of people who are just going to believe whatever somebody says without getting to know a person first, then they're probably not the kind of friends you need anyway. You know, like they're just gonna be at least in my experience. Oh, and DA and Picardo? Oh, so it's online stuff. I see. Well, I don't know. Maybe I've just been on the internet too long and I'm really salty about it, but I feel like the internet just likes drama. People like to get worked up over things. So I I can almost guarantee you if you just let it let like ignore that for like a week or something, people will forget. They'll move on to the next gossip chain before you even know it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You don't want people who won't ask for your side of the story. If people are just going to have that groupthink mentality where they want to gang up on somebody based on one person's statement, then yeah, they're, they're probably dramatic people to begin with, to be honest. So, look for the people who aren't saying anything. Those are the people who are probably more decent in whatever community, you know? At least that's what I think. Okay, you guys, I am, I'm weak today. I definitely need a snack. <laughs> it's hot in my apartment and I'm dying, so I will be back in, like, two shakes. <laughs> yeah, it's totally a mob mentality. I totally feel you. I'll be right back. water there. Okay. Sorry. Found some sweet potato chips. Very exciting. The mom mentality ready to be flamers aren't the kind of people you want to be around. Yeah. It is hard. It's really hard when, especially if that's your community too. This has been going on for weeks, and I am now banned on two to possibly seven channels. What? I'm sorry. Well, maybe give it some time to cool off, and then once you feel like it's been, you know, like a week or two, maybe message the owner of the channel to be like, here's what happened. You can make the decision to do whatever you want, but here's my story. Or if they're out to get you, then you probably don't want to be in those channels anyway, you know? You gotta cleanse the toxic people out of your life. I like the clack- I like the cracked wing look, but the third dragon pose. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll do that one. Oh, hey, Tsunami! Hey, how are you doing? It's been a while. Taking a snack break, that's like... It's only been like an hour. <laughs> I needed one. How are you doing? Try avoiding them, but it's spreading slowly. I mean, maybe it's just time to switch communities, too. The internet's weird like that. Sorry if my crunching is really loud. 
didn't realize these were like basically potato chips. Though I should have known. Mm -hmm. Snack breaks are the best breaks. They are the main breaks. I take snack breaks all day. <laughs> Honestly, if I were you, I would just hang out with the people you know or your friends and just ignore those people. Because going back and forth like that's just going to make more drama. You know? What would breaks made of snakes be like? Um, slippery and terrifying? Taking a snake break? <laughs> breaks made of snacks. Oh, I see. I kind of like the snake break concept. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I have to go take a snake break. <laughs> Just, like, walk over and hold my snake for a while. Put it back in its cage. Ooh. <laughs> Hot Cheetos breaks. If I had my choice and my way and it didn't negatively affect my health, I would just take plain Cheetos breaks. Okay, so we think this one's the best? I'll go with that one, then. Um, so for those of you who just got here, I'm designing a dragon based on a sea slug. I've been doing a series of these, and this is the slug I'm working from today. It is difficult to pronounce, and I am hesitant to try, but I think it's a Siphonteran, Siphoteran Ladrones? I'm not sure. I, I can't Latin, so I don't know. But anyway, so this is the look of it. The brown one right here. These three. And, um, yeah, I think it's kind of a cool-looking little creature. So whatever I pick will have spots and stuff all over it and have some nice, you know, earthy colors. But I was kind of playing around with designs, and I think these two were the ones I wasn't sure about. I tried to combine these two, and so that's, this is what came out, but I think it's pretty close to that, to be honest. The only thing I really took from it was the head style and maybe a little more definition in the arms, but... Anyway... Snake break! <laughs> My breaks would be made if I had breaks made of snacks. Definitely Cheeto breaks. What other snacks do I like? Chocolate? Chocolate and Cheetos? Can those be breaks? <laughs> one is chocolate, one is Cheetos. Dragon break? Hey, you're on a dragon break. <laughs> Take a break. Let's hang out and talk about dragons, you guys. Dragon break! You get to pet dragons? Oh, that'd be cool. Um, just gotta work on the whole finding a dragon part. Alright, well, I'll just do this one. And then if I hate it, I'll come back and do one of these other ones. So, let's lasso this kid. And copy him. Get that roll gone. And let's do a new line art layer. I'm gonna blow him up and hope he fits on the paper. Oh, I might need to change the orientation for this one. Uh, how do I do this? Come on. Come on, hotkeys. Yeah, he doesn't look very, um... He doesn't look like he fits very well on this <laughs> style of page. Guess I'll have to switch it. Rotate. Do -do -do, and rotate this guy. There we go. You already have a dragon? <laughs> oh, do you have like a bearded dragon? Is that what you mean? That makes me want to send you the dragon song from Galavant. In fact, I'm going to take a dragon break right now and go find the dragon song. Because everyone needs to see this. It will enhance your life. Let's see. I feel like I've talked about Galvin a lot lately on the stream, so I'm, I'm sorry to anybody who's like, oh my gosh, is she really going to talk about this again? But yes, I am. My dragon pal and me. So fun. Um, I think this is kid safe, but maybe not. So if you have a child watching, maybe don't watch this by them just in case, but it, I'm pretty sure it's fine.
Oh, okay, I see. Well, this is very silly and not spiritual, but it makes me laugh. I want to play it really bad right now, but I can't because of YouTube. It's the darn new YouTube. But if this doesn't make you want to watch Galavant, I don't know what's going to. Hopefully it's actually what I want it to be and doesn't have something terrible in it, but from the previews it looks like it's fine. I've got a friend who has a bearded dragon, and I definitely wanted her to name it Tad Cooper because of this. Okay. <laughs> it is a lizard Harry. But he's actually, he's a dragon. You have to, you just have to believe. I super believe in Ted Cooper. Alright, I'm gonna have to crop this eventually, but this is what we got for now. Okay. So, gonna try to do another one that's like clean line art, kind of fresh looking. Don't know how well this is gonna work. But, uh, yeah. Let's try it. Gotta get my little inking pen out if I can find it. So for context, for anybody who's watching that video and trying to figure out what's going on, he just traded the only money that they had in the form of this really rare jewel for a dragon, thinking that it would help them in their battle. And thus the song comes. Actually, this isn't quite the way his tentacles look. Hang on. I need to reevaluate here. Okay. I'm gonna try to stick to the actual creature. Is there a little more? Yeah, there we go. Kinda looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> That's okay. Just reminded me of a concept I did that turned into a slug. Huh. We had to take an object that we passed around in class, and you got a hot glue gun, and you turned into a slug carrying caravan thing? Do you have any pictures? That sounds really cool. I'd love to see that. so bad at line art. I don't know how people do this. Something is like so wrong with me. Yeah, sure. I'd love to see it. Hmm. Maybe this head's a little too small. It's not really... Well, that'll be all right. I really want to be able to do like the super smooth, like cell shady. I don't know. 
Just like nice line art style stuff that I see people making all the time. I just am not good at it. Thanks. I don't know if I like the head. I have to revisit that. It's a little too. I don't know, something. Maybe I should just make it end like that. That's kind of a creepy. like a no face style where it just kind of ends I don't know I'll play with it more Give it some orca spots. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've heard a lot about Clip Studio. I mean, I have I have Manga Studio, which is what Clip Studio used to be called. So it's basically just like a slightly older version of it. I need to play with it more. I originally got it for working on Drift. I don't know if I like this either. <laughs> That's so silly. I'll come back to it, see what happens. I've heard a lot of people talking about that, though. I probably should look into it. Seems to be fairly popular. I think a lot of it in Photoshop comes down to the brush you're using, which this brush isn't terrible or anything, it's just, although it's like all because I'm drawing zoomed out, it looks like it's making little line breaks everywhere, which is really annoying. I'm assuming it's because I'm zoomed out anyway. 
Well, shoot, maybe the slime brush is not as good as I thought it was. Can I just go fix all those if I ever want to print this? Or I'll just make really small prints. I don't know. See, this is the part where I struggle, is like... When I have to go in and fix the little details, to me it just looks rough. I don't know. Yeah, what is up with this? Oh wait, no, there's no line breaks. Why am I seeing line breaks? No, I am seeing line breaks. It's right there, what the heck? I don't know how to fix those. Oops, my chat died. Wait, no it didn't, it's good. But I also don't, I have kind of a love-hate relationship with Photoshop too, so... Part of like, doing all these projects is supposed to be getting me more comfortable in Photoshop. Mostly though, <laughs> it just makes me want to throw something at Photoshop. I don't know how I feel about that face yet. It's mostly for play. any brush sets they recommend for Photoshop, I'd be very interested to know what they are. Mostly I just get the free ones that I've found from like pretty good artists that I follow online. At least artists that I admire. Sometimes they just upload their brush sets for free. I'm just not sure how to work with them half the time. I kind of think I want to make this like have like a slight orca feel to it the more I play with it though. Oh really? The Mac Hall guy? I totally- I used to love Mac Hall. That was like my favorite webcomic to read. See why is it doing that? Yeah, didn't he start doing some kind of like, it was like a more artsy webcomic? Is that the one you're talking about? I know I'm probably not supposed to say the word artsy, but... So yeah, I feel like when I'm zoomed way out, or at least when I'm working at 100, or maybe it's just how fast I'm going. For whatever reason, this brush is breaking when I try to draw lines. Maybe I just gotta slow down. Nope, it's doing it more. To go super fast, I have to be super confident. Nope, it's still breaking. Man, that's really disappointing. It's at two strips a week and it's less artsy. <laughs> up in details I don't need to get caught up in right now because I still haven't figured out how I'm going to do the wings. What's his day job stuff?
Spiral Knights. Wait, is that like a mobile game? I feel like I know that name. Hmm. Don't know why it keeps doing that. Is it Patiso Briquet? Is that how you say it? I practiced for a while, but I don't know if I did a very good job. Spiral. Oh, that totally looks. That actually, the style of that, I just Googled it. Definitely looks very Mac Hallish. <laughs> Woohoo! I did it! Said your name right. I'm so proud of me. Whew. Okay. I don't know if they ported to mobile, it's an MMO or PG on Steam. Oh, okay. Premium? That's a new term for me. Uh, come on, Casey. We can do this. Maybe I'll get to a second drawing tonight if I can finish this. That would be amazing. I wonder if it is- maybe it is tied to activity. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know. Why is that arm so shaky? What the heck? Oh my gosh, I can't do anything with this brush if I'm not super zoomed in, apparently. Like, I'm at 200% right now working on this. And it's so hard to draw these lines like this without stopping. Yes, yeah, this is why I can't do line art. I just can't. <laughs> you seeing this? This is so sad. <laughs> Shop. Why do you do this to me? Oh my gosh, it's so hot. They've got the heat on full blast and I can't control it. <laughs> I'm gonna go open a window. Otherwise you're gonna see a very sweaty stream. lets me. Exactly. I can do it if Photoshop's feeling benevolent, you know, at the moment. How was your week? And how can I shorten your name to an acceptable length? Because I'm not... Pat is so briquet. Can I call you briquet? You probably don't want me to call you pad. I'm assuming. Oh, that's true. I guess if you're about to change it. What are you going to change it to? We can brainstorm with you if you want. If you like. Okay, the same as your Habitica name. Cool, cool. Is that Farine? Is that how you say it? Oh, 
I see. Hmm. You could try putting, like, extra characters around it. If it'll let you. Like, maybe a period on either side, or, like, a number. I don't know, those are kind of- I don't really like putting numbers in my username, though. So I kind of get that. Amaze! How are you? Well, hello! Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to draw a dragon based on this. Boop. This brown one. So yeah, that's what I'm working from. And this is what I've got. As far as design goes, anyway. I'm still not that face, though. I don't think I like it. I think I'm going to go back to the other face and just try to figure it out. Oh my, Doodlebot. Such links damage. I wish there was an easier way to post those links. Hmm. Part of me kind of wants to add something to the wings. I just don't know what. Oh, I'm sorry. Try adding something to it. Maybe you can find something that you like, you know? That is kind of stinky. It's no fun when your name is taken. I don't think I posted this on Facebook. Hang on. Or did I? I can't remember. <laughs> nope. I So I was trying to think today of some art challenge stuff that I could do. I really want to do a 30 day art challenge um, next month. Just because it's something I think I need to do. Like I've always tried to do them and just failed. So I was asking people on social media if they knew of any like good art challenges that I could do and they don't necessarily have to be like monthly thematic or anything. But since some of you guys are artists. Um, does anybody know of any, like, cool art challenges that you've either done or seen that you think are cool, or, um, ones that you've done that really helped you, um, improve? Because obviously that's, like, the main purpose is to, like, build a skill. <laughs> um, I just don't know. I've got a little list up here of, like, monthly ones. Yeah, I've got the ones that are, like, the only one I know for March is, um, is March of Robots, but I don't really want to do robots for a month. I mean, I probably should. Probably help me get better at mechanical stuff. But I kind of want something that's a little bit more, like, slightly in my skill set, but enough of a stretch that I can still learn something. So, I don't know. Somebody just told me I should make my own and just, like, make a tag for it. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know what I would do. And I'm pretty sure nobody would join me. <laughs> like, not that that matters necessarily, but part of the purpose of doing an art challenge is to, like, find a community to bounce ideas off of, you know? So if I'm the only one using that hashtag, it's kind of hard to do that. I don't know. I could do March of something else, I guess. March of Markers. Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't know. I could just do like a painting challenge, just like a kind of a standard painting challenge, I guess. But I just don't know if I, I don't know. I kind of want to find one that other people are doing so that I can, like I said, like bounce ideas off of people and 
I think it would encourage me to interact more on social media too, which is something I really need to do better. So it's part of what I'm trying to think of like a a good one that's happening right now. So anyway, if anybody thinks of one or knows of one, please let me know. Oh, these are really addictive. I should put this bag away. Alright, let's do something about this face. I do kind of like that though. It's kind of creepy. Line art, why are you so bad? I wonder if it's my monitor. Do you guys know if it's possible for your monitor to just be like not high enough resolution so it distorts things? Because I know this isn't like the best art monitor in the world, it's not terrible, it's just not necessarily great for getting precision <laughs> details, I guess, and color accuracy. But I don't know if- I've never heard of that, though. Or maybe it, maybe it's just me. You guys probably can't even see them. There's like all these little breaks in the line. Thank you, Obsidian Lily. I don't know why my Streamlabs isn't reporting that, but I really appreciate the follow. Thank you. Oh, so sweet. Welcome, welcome. That's really weird. I wonder why that's so delayed. Oh. Oh wait, is this is this pat is this pat soap okay? Did you just change it? That's okay. Welcome anyway. <laughs> Maybe that's obviously it's why my uh, alert thing didn't go off. Well that is no problem. Hmm. 
Does anybody have any line art tips for me? <laughs> for Photoshop? I kind of die in here. This is why I much prefer to just paint stuff. Okay. Ugh, gotta fix this too. Boop. Boop. Is that like your backup screen name? That you use whenever your other one's taken? Or did you just make that up just now? I have backup like that. Okay, everything looks to be connected. Whoa. I really wish my Parma would not do that. No more creepy noises, please. Oh, it's your nano name. Oh, okay, cool. Very cool. Are you a writer then? Sorry if you told me that and I just forgot. Okay, legit, I have to lock my door. It sounds like somebody's trying to get in. <laughs> Hey, I mean, we're all aspiring, right? It's no biggie. What do you write? Like, what do you, what kind of stuff do you tend to, to do, like, for nano or just in general? Either or. I've got a friend who's a writer and she's really into nano. In fact, I think her nano group is the reason that I have this book job. <laughs> because I think the I'm pretty sure the girl that cuz she's the one who hooked me up with this with this author and I'm pretty sure they're in the same nano group or something, something like that. Same writing group. Sorry, if my door doesn't stop making creepy noises, I might have a panic attack. <laughs> I swear it sounds like somebody is trying to get in. Well, if I get attacked, you guys all saw it on camera. <laughs> Please call the police. What is that? I'm afraid to open the door. Maybe I should shut my window a little more in case it's some crazy person. <laughs> Usually fantasy, sometimes space, space fantasy. Okay, hey, that's cool. That sounds like fun. If it's fun to write about, it's usually fun to read. <laughs> we know how this horror movie goes, right? Yeah, I won't open it, don't worry. I'm just saying, though, you guys, like, there's my door right there behind me, so if you see any movement or something, I'm counting on you. <laughs> what you do is I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I scared them. Yeah, I like it. That's a good... I like the way you think. That's a good idea. Okay. In fact, I might even, just because I'm being a paranoid weirdo, I'm going to just turn it a little so you guys can see the window, too. Because the window right there, right, right here, that one, that's the one that's open. It's open about this wide. So technically, somebody could probably, like, slip, you know, cut the screen and get in. But it's really hot in here. I'm dying. I don't know what that noise is, but it's scary. It must be the wind hitting something against my door. <laughs> don't open the door, the vampires can't get in if you don't invite them. Oh, they're totally not invited. Vampires, you're not invited. There. You guys heard it here. <sighs> Cause like, I'm obviously gonna like take them to court if they violate their own rules or something. So, there's my evidence. <laughs> Good thing this gets recorded on the Twitch. Okay, 
it legit? Like, what is that? handle this very well. <laughs> I'm wondering if it was maybe my jacket maybe it was just like hitting the door somehow. I don't know. We'll see if it stops. I'm. It makes me a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Security has been a little iffy around here lately so anyway. <laughs> I'm counting on you guys. Oh hey Last. How's it going? Hello. Hello. I know this is a very ex Oh my gosh, I think I know what it is. <laughs> hey, Oliver! What are you doing? You scared me! Oh my gosh, it's the apartment cat, you guys. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Come on! I called him Oliver, but his actual name is Lego. Hey, Lego! What are you doing? Come here, Lego! Come here, Lego! So here is our apartment cat. His name is Lego. He doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, that scared me so bad you don't even know. <laughs> He's probably looking for food. Do you want to go back? Yeah, I need to give him some water. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> I do not have a cat. It is not my cat. It's the apartment cat. He belongs to a, a girl downstairs, but she lets him out all the time. And so we all just kind of have collective ownership over him. So he, he likes to visit everybody. And he was scratching on my little threshold thing. That's what that noise was. So much less crazy now knowing there was actually something at the door because <laughs> that was like the scariest thing it's a communal cat oh no it could still be a vampire those things can shapeshift Lego are you a vampire he's licking his toes I don't think he's a vampire <laughs> anyway um, so yeah no not my cat <laughs> I do not have pets because you aren't allowed to have them here. So she's actually not supposed to have him. He's just really nice. Why don't you let go? You should come up here and say hi. I shouldn't let him in. He sheds a lot. But he's just such a nice kitty. It's hard not to let him in. 
He's being very picky right now, though. Hey, I want to drop some ham. Do cats eat ham? I feel like they should eat ham. <laughs> That's all I have is some ham I'm trying to use up. He only gets food that I don't want anymore. Which is probably why he comes around. But. <laughs> well, good. Don't be picky, then. Go eat your ham. Lego, eat your ham. <laughs> Let's see, modify, expand by one. I think that's everything. Yeah. And inverse. Lego. You scared me, cat. You know that? It's okay, I know you're just here for food. You don't have to pretend to like me. It's fine. I'm not offended. Please go eat my ham. Because I don't want to have to eat it. <laughs> Cats eat any meat unless picky. I mean, he gets fed by a lot of people, so he probably can't afford to be picky. <laughs> yeah, so I have this really cheap threshold thing under my door. Because it's, um, there's like a one inch gap underneath my door in the ground outside. And so my apartment manager just, I don't know why it's doing that, but... Um, so he just filled it in. Oh, shoot. That's why. Oh, wrong layer. <laughs> okay, that's better. Alrighty. Um, but yeah, so it's like a... <laughs> You've gone and invited it in. Don't make me get the garlic. Oh, there he goes. He got curious about it, so he's in the kitchen now chewing on it. He'll be fine. <laughs> it's like it's like Christmas ham. Like, I really need to finish using it up. I put it in some beans today, but I have a lot of it left. So I, he can have however much he wants. But yeah, he's a very picky cat. I would say. Alright, well, that's close enough to the color, I think. Although I get nervous having him in here, because I don't know how well trained he is. He seems pretty well trained. I say as it sounds like he's trying to get into a cabinet. But... Alright, let's add some color to this guy. Hey! No, get down. You can't be there. Yeah, you heard me coming. Sneaky little bugger. You don't train cats, they train you. It's probably true. Well, if he starts picking up the carpet, he can't come in anymore. Lego, what are you doing? Oh, there he is in the window. You guys can see him. That's why it sounded like noises were coming from the window, because he was sitting on the windowsill outside. What a silly kitty. It's kind of like a weird... Oh, that's pretty. Like this. <laughs> well, I've never owned a cat. I've lived with a cat. My roommate in college had a cat, but she was really mean. Like, she would bite me all the time. Oh, dang it, that's not what I wanted. There we go. So I was not super fond of that cat. I mean, I trained that cat, though. I know you said you can't train cats, but... I definitely taught that cat that if it bit me, it was getting launched out of whatever position it was in. <laughs> like, oh, you're gonna bite me? You're not gonna be on the bed. Oh, you're gonna bite me? You're not gonna be in my lap. Like, 
And so she actually got to the point where she would start to bite and then she would like close her mouth and reconsider and just accept the pets. <laughs> so I think you can train cats. I just, uh, she was just kind of mean. So I just didn't, um, didn't really bond. I tolerated her more than bonded with her, I think. But Lego's a nice cat. He really is. It's very sweet. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You're not getting anything else. That's all you get is ham. Just don't come crying to me about it. If I open this window, he might come sit in it. Okay, look what I got for you. Look, another window. That's pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're scary. Lego, if you don't get off my counter, you're not going to be in here anymore. So his, na his actual name is Legolas, but everyone calls him Lego. Which I think is adorable. Not going to lie. So do you, is, was that your cat too, Senna, that did that? I say too, like this is my cat, it's not. Okay, now my computer is purring at me. Something weird's going on. <laughs> Either that or he's really enjoying his ham. <laughs> Cat's being super cute. He's in the top bed of his kitty tree. <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything to entertain Lego in here, so I'm pretty sure he just comes around for the snacks. I don't blame him. If some giant was feeding me, I'd come around for snacks too. <laughs> yeah, I've only ever had dogs. I've, I've never, I didn't grow up with cats or anything. My dad did not like cats at all. Um, so we were not allowed to have cats, which was fine. I think one time there was a stray cat that I, like, because I was always letting strays follow me home and stuff, and so I think one time I let a, cat, a stray cat into the house. Um, and I know the fastest way to get a cat to never leave you alone is to feed them, so I know that it was a mistake to feed Lego, but... Yeah, whatever. You know, he's actually not a dog person. <laughs> he really wasn't a pet person. It was just like, of the two, he would prefer a dog. If he had to choose. But he didn't grow up with pets. Let go. Did you eat your ham? Come here. See this? Why don't you come say hi to the nice people? That's not a snake, don't worry. I feel like he's really unhappy because last time he got tuna when he was here. So I think he was expecting more tuna. But he only got the tuna because it was way past expiration date. <laughs> and I didn't want to chance it. But I hate wasting food. Oh, your cat was originally a neighbor's cat? That's cool. Like, so you d the neighbor just decided they didn't want it anymore, or it just kept coming over to you, and you just kept it? You know, we had a neighbor up the street from, like, pretty far up the street from us that had, like, a dog that kept escaping and coming to visit us. <laughs> I think it was because one time somebody dumped it in our backyard thinking it was ours, because we had two Cocker Spaniels, and it was a Cocker. And then I think it just really enjoyed our backyard. <laughs> and so it wanted to come visit after that. So like, once a year. And the dog's name was Casey, which was funny. 
Lego, what are you chewing on? Lego. He's gonna be bad. You ready to go? Yeah. Anyway, so that's what that noise was. <laughs> I'm so glad that it was not a vampire or a killer. <laughs> Mostly glad it was not a killer. I actually kind of think I should do these spots on like a separate layer. The more I'm looking at this. Because it looks like they kind of have almost a... I don't know if you guys can see that. They have almost have like a glow behind them. Like individually. So I think it might be fun to try and bring that out. Like seriously, how do you say that? Siphoteron... Siphopetron? Siphoteron Ladrones, I guess. Anyway, it'd be cool if they had like more memorable names, but alas. Yeah, a little bit like koi fish spots. I guess that's true. Yeah, koi fish spots do that too, don't they? I didn't think about that. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the base colors on this layer, actually now that I'm looking at it. And then I'll just do those other colors after I draw the spots. Cause yeah, I think that will look better. Mm-hmm, yeah, I think so. I think so. No, that's too much. Okay. So yeah, I'll just do like an orangey version of this and just do like, ouch, the heater just burning me so bad. Hmm. Maybe lower the opacity a little bit so it's not quite so strong. Yeah, I think I'll just do like some spots like that underneath and then go back on the other layers and like draw them in. I think. Ooh, what was this? I don't, I don't know if I like this new phone, you guys. I recently I had to switch phones this weekend. Because my other phone was just to the point where it was getting almost, like I was missing text messages constantly, so I had to upgrade. But I'm not sure I like this new S8. video of your what? Is this your cat? Oh, that's cute.
Very cute. Okay, I'm gonna put these away because I've eaten like half this bag. Far too much. I'm not sure about that face. I like it better than the other one, but... Okay, back in a sec. I do have the munchies. <laughs> really bad. Ugh. I am not smoking anything. Thank you very much. I do not partake. <laughs> Sorry. It's rude for me to just sit here with this in my mouth. These are delicious, by the way. If you ever get a chance to buy these things, shout out to Cocoa Runes. So good. It's because I don't eat right. I just get hungry all day. <laughs> I need to eat more fruits and veggies for sure. Alright. Drawing these spots. Let's do this. No more cocoa runes until I draw ten more spots. Yeah, Matt's got, I know some people who have, who do medically. I just am not one of them. I, I don't think I need substance to have the munchies, though. I'm pretty good at munchies all by myself. I don't know, but they're super good. I don't, I don't, yeah. These, I highly recommend the brownie flavor. It does taste like a healthy brownie, but like a good healthy brownie. Oh wait, I said no more until I drew 10 spots. See, this is why I gotta... <laughs> you guys gotta watch me on this. Alright, right there. Can't touch it. 10 spots. Oh no, I had to close that because I was super, super close to signing up. But that's just... That's an expense I cannot... I, cannot, I should not take on an extra expense right now. But one day... I would love to be a member of the Cheese Club. That would be so cool. So cool. Temptation, I know. I'm really bad with temptation like that. Mm, that's not big enough. It is a lot of noms, yes. <laughs> How should I do that? I kind of want to make these spots a little more, like, swirly than they actually are on the creature. Does that make sense? Like, more... I almost feel like I should have this, like, selected. Hang on. Everything was making weird noises today. Oh, the swirly does not make sense. I don't know why I tried to describe it that way. But like, kind of like they're somehow like connected outside of sight, you know what I mean? Like this wraps around or something. <sighs> oh nice, there you go. They're probably at health food stores. They're like non-GMO, paleo, gluten-free, 
There are coconut cashew cookies. This one is the salted caramel flavor. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. People were telling me that they tasted super salty, but I'm not. I'm not getting that. It's like I. But I also really like salty, so maybe I just like more salt than they do. I don't know. It doesn't seem. Hey, where's my selection? Oh, but it doesn't seem super salty to me. This one? You think that one's too symmetrical? Or this one? <laughs> Thanks, Dream. <laughs> I need that. I need that accountability. I'm really bad. This one, oh, this one right here is too symmetrical? That one looks really asymmetrical to me. Well, I'll, I'll reevaluate when I'm done. I need to, I want to just get some in and see kind of what I'm looking for here. To resist the temptation to hide more heart-shaped spots like that other dragon. Although I think these are in the same family. I've got like these weird edge spots that I'm trying to emulate. I don't know if you guys can see those. I don't know if I like the way they look though. I might eliminate them on principle. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I don't know. I might I might change them. I I very rarely will just stick with the first thing I draw. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. How this goes. Really bad at drawing perfect circles and a lot of these look like they're perfect circles though. I just have to do perfect ovals instead. <laughs> Chocolate raccoons. Oh, no. They're not raccoons. They're actually uh, coconut cashew. I don't know if I said that already, but. Cocoa runes. I think the other ones are called cocoa nibs. I don't know why they're called two different things, because they're trying to be macaroons, you know? But. Hey, I drew ten I drew ten circles. I can have a cookie. Wait, did I draw ten circles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. No, I've I said I could do ten. No. That was my that was my goal. I can keep drawing while I'm chewing on this. Oh, is it? I didn't know that. I'm not very... I don't pay attention to any of that stuff. I don't know what any of the innuendo means or whatever. Wait, what thought the mod... did the mod do something? Did, did the mod try to mute you? I didn't get an alert or anything. That's weird. <laughs> hey! I'm not a naughty puppy. I don't need a spray bottle. Oh, that's weird, huh? I had no idea that that was a racial slur. That's strange. What if you're from the south? Like, I'm from the south and we call raccoons coons. Eh, whatever. <clears throat> it's 
super weird. But I guess, yeah, it makes sense to catch it in case somebody is being a turd. So. <sighs> it's just odd. People are so weird. Oh, it made you check it. Oh, I wonder why it didn't ask me. I'm a mod. I guess it just doesn't automatically, it just doesn't ask the streamer, huh? Or maybe it did and I totally missed it. <laughs> oh well. Thank you for being on top of that. Sorry. Okay, I don't think I like this. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna do spots differently than the actual creature because I think that looks stupid. <laughs> I like the big spots. How am I gonna do this? Oh, really? Is Coco a bad word? You know, you'd think that people, like, somebody somewhere would catch that. Like, so for instance, like, the word fanny is um, a really terrible word in Australia. So, like, when you say fanny pack or something, like, everybody... Everybody thinks you're being incredibly crass and vulgar. I didn't know that. So like all of the Aunt Fannies out there have like the worst name ever, if you ask an Australian. Oh, does it? So weird. Well, that's unfortunate. So did they change the kid's name too? Because isn't his name Coco? I still haven't seen it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just realized I've been doing this with the wrong brush this whole time. Alright, well, so now you get your wish. Dang it. See, I told you I don't usually go with the first option. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. It, would, it looked totally different. Sigh. I'm very body. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I probably should stop saying these words. <laughs> Oops. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I totally forgot that I switched brushes to do that. And I was supposed to be on this brush, and I switched to this to do the coloring. Man. I wonder if this is a better brush to ink with. I should try that one next time. Alright, well, here we go. Can't cry over spilt milk. Let's do this. Do people not know what body means? I use that word all the time. But I also read, read a lot of classic literature, and that's a pretty common descriptor in uh, early 1900s, mid 1900s even. I don't know if you guys do this, but whenever you read like a classic book, do you find that you're your way of talking and your way of, like, using vocabulary gets more, like, at least for a limited time, like, gets more eloquent, perhaps, or something like that? I'm not sure what word exactly I'm looking for.
Use your context clues, guys. Context is king. So I'm trying to combine elements of like an orca, but also keep the spot patterns of this creature. Might, have to, might just have to give it like a string of pearls or something. Oh, that's 10! I can have another Coco Rune! Yay! I like, see, I like that you're on board now, Dream. Although these are actually kind of, they're pretty, they're pretty rich. I'm getting kind of full and slightly sick, so I probably shouldn't eat them so close to each other. I'll just have a little bite. Right. Mm, okay. Um, this music is some royalty-free music that I found. Um, I'm still eating. What do you mean? I only had two. Oh, you mean from the chips? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm a pig. What can I say? This is called Horizon Soundscapes. Um, it's by RF. Oh, it's from RF so RF Soundtracks. Um, it just says royalty-free ambient music, and the title of the track is Horizon Soundscapes. So. This is a PG stream. What do you mean? Do you guys have vocab lists too? Please tell me I'm not the only person who does this as an adult. I totally have a vocab list right here. Like literally within arm's reach vocab list. <laughs> words to look up. I don't know if you guys can read that. Those are like words I want to incorporate into my daily vernacular. Abstruse. I can't even say this one. Um, agrarious. I mean, I know that one. Ignominous. Ig yeah. And apoplectic. <laughs> one of this one I've never seen before. Maybe I've heard it. It's, sometimes I've heard these words and I just don't know. Like, I just, I haven't seen them in writing sometimes. But, like, if I'm reading an article or listening, uh, listening to people talk or something and they use a word I don't know, I write it down. So I can make a little vocab sheet and learn a new word. Because it's never too late to learn something new. I also have a spelling list over there, but I'm not going to show that one because it's embarrassing because there's a lot of words I misspell. <laughs> oh, egregious. I, th I definitely read it as agra agrarious, which is spelled slightly. Yeah, slightly similar, but not the same. Yeah, like an egregious oversight. Like, I know what that one means. It's just... I don't know, I guess I forgot about it. Like, a huge oversight. There's a word for an overly large word. I'm not surprised. What is it? I'll add it to my vocab list. <laughs> what? I don't think I would ever use either of those words in actual speech. 
sesquipedalian and brobdingnagnian brobdingnagnian that's stupid <laughs> that's a joke some lingui ling linguist I almost said linguiniest that's how tired and hungry I am some linguist somewhere was like I know what will be funny haha -ha. <laughs> that's what I imagine the inception of that that word being Okay, I don't know how to incorporate the spot pattern of this creature without looking silly. The question used that in the Justice League? Hmm. Oh, I still haven't seen that movie. I'm so behind, I haven't seen anything. Like, anything remotely recent. I still haven't even seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2. That is how behind I am. Coco. What else haven't I seen? Haven't seen the new Star Wars, which I'm not super like heartbroken about. Oh, it was bad? Okay, I'll take it off my list. Really? Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was bad? That's disappointing. I thought it was good. I mean, I'd, I thought I'd, I thought I had heard it was good. That's a shame, because the first one was really fun. I really liked the first one. That's on my movies I need to buy list. That one and the first Avengers movie I really liked. It's like the entire cast had a lobotomy. Are they all trying too hard to be Chris Pratt? Is that what it is? <laughs> Chris Pratt, did you accidentally ruin the movie by making the other one too pratty? That's kind of a shame. I was excited because I really liked the actors in that movie. I was excited they were getting some screen time on a, you know, bigger hit film. <laughs> what? Okay, this spot is going to be the death of me. Bah! That deserves a cocoa rune. But I am not hungry. Yeah, I haven't seen Black Panther. <coughs> Excuse me, I also just inhaled a cocoa room piece. <coughs> Apparently was hiding. <laughs> and it doesn't like me talking about the Black Panther, so. Ugh, that hurt. They weren't allowed to show any emotion? Are you saying that like flippantly or is that was that actually like was that actually like a plot device? Well, I guess don't tell me. I'll just see it. I'll see for myself. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. That's why these look so silly. Oh, nope, 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 nope. The quips weren't even clever and, oh, that's so disappointing. When did that movie come out? Wasn't it pretty recent? Or was it like last year and I'm just really behind? That's a shame, because I really thought the first one was very clever. Like, a very surprising. Surprisingly clever film. And just like fun, you know, not, it wasn't trying to be smart, it was just fun, which was nice.
Oh, that's that's a that's a big shame. That's a big shame. Question dropped that word in a show aimed at children. Oh, I kind of want to see this. Hang on. I'll click that link in just a second. If I can never stop drawing, you know, like terrible lines, then I will watch that video. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and keep drawing terrible lines because that's really what everybody wants to see when they come to a stream is me meticulously fixing terrible line work. So, you're lucky, a lucky day, everybody. That's what you're getting to watch. <sighs> One of these days, I'll learn how to draw. And it'll be great. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's do some more spots. Kind of like those, like, funky spots. I'm gonna do a few more of those. Beep. keep doing this till I get one I like. Okay. Sheldon Cop- wait. What average ten-year-old knows what Brob- Brobding Nagian? I don't know. Alright, I have to watch this. Hang on. Click. took something that belongs to me. Have you seen the latest poem? It's beginning to look like you're going to be our next president. Just like in that other one. I wouldn't bet against me. It wouldn't be proof. I want you to understand something, Rupert. Although my distaste for you as a human being is broad being Maggie, what I'm about to do is understand something, Rupert. Here it is. Although my distaste for you as a human being is broad being Maggie, what I'm about to do is... Wow, they just wanted an excuse to use that word. <laughs> Brobdignagian. That is a ridiculous piece of English, you guys. Like, beyond ridiculous. Although my distaste for you as a human being is Brobdignagian. That, that doesn't even make sense, though, right? Because he's saying... My distaste for you is a word too big. <laughs> well, maybe it does. I don't know. Okay, anyway. I'm done, I'm done analyzing that now. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I was so excited and I felt like it was just a waste of my time at the end of it. The whole movie, I was waiting for it to get good. And when it was over, you would, oh, yeah, that's a bummer. Whatever. Um, what kid outside of a spelling bee has even seen that, right? <laughs> I've never seen it. Man, that's a huge bummer. D does everybody feel that way about Guardians of the Galaxy 2? Like, is that a pretty unanimous opinion in the chat, for those of you who've seen it? Just not really worth the time? Well, that's a bummer. Because I really thought the first was clever. So, so what I'm hearing you say is, of my list of movies I haven't seen, the only ones really worth seeing are Coco and Black Panther. Right? Probably not the Star Wars movie. Probably not... Um, Gardens of the Galaxy 2. Okay, well, that's, that, that's nice. So I only have to wait for those to come out on DVD. <laughs> I don't go to the movies anymore, I just wait for them to come out on DVD and then I rent them from the library. Which takes like another, you know, four months <laughs> for the waiting list to go down. Um, don't see, okay, alright, everybody is telling me not to see The Last Jedi. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm not a big Star Wars fan anyway, so I probably, I probably uh, wouldn't see it unless it was really good. My brother kind of killed Star Wars for me when I was young. I think I've told that story though. That shit, that series is dead to me. The new Star Wars films are redo- yeah, that was kind of the vibe I got from the first one. 
Like, it was a really heavy vibe from the first one. It just was a remake of the most popular film. Um, I don't, I'm not familiar enough with the films to catch all of the references and stuff, but even I could pick up on that. So, it's usually not good. I mean, it's a good marketing strategy. It reintroduces a whole new generation to the franchise, which was the whole point, I'm sure. But it's kind of lazy. And you'd think they'd pick up on that criticism and not keep making the new movies like that. My brother's a super hardcore Star Wars fan, and he was disappointed that they didn't have um, Thrawn, like the Thrawn part plotline, I guess, from the books. Um, they didn't set up for that, so he, he was really upset that they kind of just threw all of that out the window. It wasn't what we hyped it up to be, but really wasn't bad, and it didn't ruin anything from the series. Huh. I don't know. I, I think I've most people I've I've heard either love it or hate it. I don't know. Again, not a huge Star Wars person, so I probably won't care. Like anyway, even if it's a good Star Wars movie, I'm just kind of like, eh. He likes Star Wars Rebels. I mean, at least they brought. Yeah, he actually. I think he actually does play. He has played Star Wars Rebels. I think I got that for him for his birthday one year. Um, the H, uh, the hit, the hit she version, what? H I T S H E, what is that? Disney decanonized Thrawn in all the books, yeah. Yeah, he was pretty upset after the first movie. That's like all he could talk about was how, well, I guess Thrawn's out the window. Like, I didn't even know what that meant. But he just, he just like went on a rampage about it. And we were just like, all the whole family was just like, oh, like, we don't know what you're talking about, but. We, we trust that you have legitimate, <laughs> legitimate concerns. Oh my gosh, this line work, what happened? Ugh, Photoshop, why? Just why? Why do you hate me so much? Yeah, I think Thrawn's like his favorite character. I think that's part of why he was so upset. I wonder if it was like a rights issue, you know, like I wonder if they couldn't get rights to the plots for the books without extra, without like extra legwork maybe, and so maybe that's why they did it like that. Oh really? So they had so Disney had that has the rights to the books too? Like they're making profits off the books? I didn't know if it was like an X-Men situation where one person has the rights to certain parts of the franchise and somebody else still like maybe George Lucas still owned part of it or I don't know who does. But yeah, Timothy Zahn is the author that he really likes. And I guess he wrote a lot of those Star Wars books that are his favorites, and he was really upset that they didn't go with any of that. But I, again, I really don't know very much about it. That's that's the my the extent of my knowledge is listening to my brother's ramblings and rants about it. I know that he has like most of Wikipedia memorized. You think nobody will buy the books? I don't know. I think I think if you have big enough fans of something, you don't think the the current generation that's being introduced to the the world will want to look into it at all. No, oh, my look at this terrible line work that the computer did. Oh my gosh. This is awful. It's so wiggly for no reason. Why is it like this? Kill the heirs of the forest and all the expanded history and future stuff. We're totally doing something new. Yeah. But then by doing something new, they're doing this, they're rehashing the same old thing. So maybe they can bring it, maybe it'll just happen in the future. Future. Instead of just the future that they have now. 
You know, like maybe it's still salvageable somehow. Like they could just do like after this generation all of those things could happen maybe? Or no? I don't know. I don't know. Books were made canon because people were buying them and suing all those fanfic writers back in the day. What? Wait, really? Would have been really unprofitable compared to buying them out. They sued fanfic writers? Really? I feel like there's a whole, like, depth of knowledge in this topic that I was just not aware of. Do tell. I didn't know you could sue a fanfic writer. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much my life right now, Dream, actually. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's just a lot of like fixing the line work pixel by pixel. Frustratingly. Okay, I don't know if I like these circles. So I don't I don't think I like this line of circles right here. It's super weird and it doesn't really match the look of the rest of it. But if you look at, like, that's how it is on the creature. So I wonder if maybe I should just nix those type of spots, even though they're actually on the sea slug. I do think that they, they look strange. I mean, there's still people adapting books, I thought. Not Star Wars books, but... I think there's been a lot of really popular films based on books lately, like The Hunger Games. We're super like Harry Potter. I mean, granted, those were made a while ago, like Lord of the Rings, but I think that entertainment trends come in phases, and we're just in a very like lame phase right now. Books that are interesting to read. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. That's what I was, yeah, that's how I feel. I feel like Hollywood just, like, they don't have any ideas, so they just look at books <laughs> lately. There's a lot less empty space. I think it'll be fine if you throw a few more medium circles around that line. Yeah, that's true. I just, I feel like it doesn't match the look of it, but I don't know. I can always erase them later, I guess, if I hate them totally. Maybe I'll just do a bigger line of circles right here. <laughs> Going the other way. No, I don't like that. Oh my gosh, Dragon Ball Evolution. Did you know that the director, like, apologized for that movie, finally? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. But that's also, like, a whole other, like, genre? Is, it, is genre the right word for that? Like, of Hollywood filmmaking? I don't know. I don't know about these circles, you guys. I'm feeling kind of iffy about them. Maybe if I mirrored them, like, right here. It's, I just don't feel like it matches very well, even though it's part of the creature. I feel like I kind of want to take them out. This one definitely doesn't match. 
The only movie I'm looking forward to right now is the Super Mario movie. <laughs> I know, it was so bad. You know what the worst thing is? I was a big Buffy fan, so I actually really liked James Marsden, and Piccolo was my favorite character in the show, so I had the further fall of being super excited about the movie, like, oh my gosh, I love James Marsden, and I love Piccolo, this is gonna be so great! And I was just like super, super, super pumped. And it was terrible. And I went to theaters to see it, and I just remember people just like laughed after it was over. It was, it was like, what else can you do? You have to laugh, otherwise you cry. It was so bad. It was a terrible movie. Yeah, he basically was like, sorry about Dragon Ball Evolution. I should have done more research. I didn't understand what the franchise was about. Like, it was just... And the worst part of that, I think, that I remember is people were, at first people were like, well, some people not in the fandom, or people who weren't fans of the show, were talking about how, oh, people just, like, people are just being racist against the director, like, it, you know, that's why this movie tanked. I remember reading an article about that, and I was just like, no, let's not do that, let's not make that about this, because that's... This is not why that movie was bad. <laughs> like, I don't- I didn't even know who the director was or care. Like, I watched the movie and it was terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, it, it was basically the, the Last Airbender movie of anime live-action movies. Like, I feel like- I've never seen Last Airbender either, but I've heard such terrible things. It's just- I love that show and I don't think I can- like, I like Dragon Ball Z, but mostly for nostalgic reasons. Like, I'm not, like, a fan. Per well, I mean, I am, I guess, but not, like... It's not something I'm gonna actively, like, kill myself to try to watch. But, like, I loved Avatar. That was a great... Great series. So I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to see... I refuse to see the last Airbender movie. Okay, this is going to be a huge pain, you guys, but I'm going to try it. <sighs> okay, so how, how can I do this? Let's see. So I do shift plus. Nope. Shift plus. Oh yeah, this is going to be awful. Plus, 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 plus. Hopefully all my lines are connected. Nope, that one's not. Do that one later. Plus, 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 plus. So we'll see if I can <laughs> color these spots real quick before bed. I do need to go pretty soon. Um, but I would like to get a little more done on this before bedtime. Plus, 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 plus. Sorry, I keep saying plus. <laughs> I think out loud sometimes. I think we got them all, except for the ones that are not connected. Okay. I, I've heard there was a Sailor Moon live action done years and years ago, but I'm not super familiar with it. Okay, let's do a peachy color. Boop. Let's make sure we're on the color layer. La la la! Perfect. Well, that's exciting. Gotta love when things are easy. Hopefully the lines are okay. I like that a lot better with color now. That looks way more better. Does this have yellow on his tail? No, it's got a little bit. Hmm. Let's do a slight inverse again.
Five earth bands just move a rock the size of your head for real. Oh, is that what happened? Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I had no idea. I really, I really have not seen it, and I have no intention of ever seeing it, frankly. All right, cool. Hopefully that looks okay. And I'll just go in here and do these individually. I just, I remember, like, when I heard the way that the names were going to be pronounced, I was just like, no, this isn't good. And I think that's a great, I think, I think M. Night is one of those guys, he tries too hard to be artsy because he got known for doing that in his movies, you know, early in his career. And so watching his movies now, it's such a crapshoot. And honestly, like, because his last few have been so bad, I'm not sure how he's going to get clearance to make, like, I don't know who keeps hiring him. Like, is he even working on anything right now? I don't know. It's, uh, it's a shame. <laughs> I really did like, I know it's kind of like a joke now, but I really did like The Sixth Sense when it came out. I thought it was a great movie. And I actually enjoyed The Village. I know a lot of people didn't like it. I didn't, I thought it was pretty good. I liked the idea. I thought it was unique. And I didn't mind Signs, like, when I first saw it, like, it was entertaining. I think of Signs as, like, a superhero movie, kind of. And I thought it was kind of interesting the way things all kind of connected. Granted, it, it was not the best movie ever, especially upon, like, repeat viewings. I, I realized, like, hmm, this really is not super great, but I didn't hate it. But, like, most of his other movies are, I feel like, super unwatchable. Let this be a warning. Hear ye, hear ye. Did I see Invincible? Maybe I saw Invincible. Was that the one that had the guy who was just looking for, like, people who... Was that the guy who, like, miraculously survived this crash without... without injury and it turned into be kind of a superhero movie? Or am I thinking of in something else? He's a male director. He's immune to failure. I don't know. I feel like he's pretty well regarded as a failure by most people. Oh, I'm missing a lot of chat. Hang on. That was hit and miss. The misses were cause of Japanese government. Japan so in live action, yeah. Acting was atrocious. Story pacing all over the place. The special effects are so bad. I didn't care to be in the end of the show. Yeah, I have no, no intention of seeing it. Um, do, 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 work with color. Oh, thanks, Lily. Thanks for your belief in me. I appreciate it. Uh, movies based on video games. The production rights just wind up in the wrong hands. Right. Um, fun fact. Shadow. I don't know who UWE Bull's entire career was. Actually, a tax dodge by German CEOs. What? A purpose a purposefully failed film that would that theoretically could have been a profitable film is a very old very very old film accounting game what so they make bad movies to get a tax deduction are you serious that's like a strategic thing yeah who is ong seriously like the producers yes he's a mildred i don't know think of this one Okay, let me, I'm catching up, sorry. It's more like they're too dense to acknowledge failure. Bruce Willis had an aneurysm from... <laughs> uh, they keep getting hired no matter how badly they do. I call that immune. Yeah, I suppose. Hey, is, isn't this color scheme the same as your other sea slug dragon? It's pretty close. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. But they're actually... The slugs are in the same family. So I'm not super surprised. Had Samuel L. Jackson. He had to grow out his hair for the movie. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I, that's the one I'm thinking. Maybe some notches in the far wing to match the front wing. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, it is kind of close, but they're also, they're like right next to each other in the species category. And I think this one's a lot lighter. It just looks so similar because of the colors and also because of the spots. But yeah, the other one is, let me see if I can pull that up. It's actually in here. I think it's, nope. So this one yeah yeah so the colors are pretty close but I mean that's what they look like in my I guess I didn't color select so this one's a little oranger maybe I was using this picture for mostly but I mean they are they're in the same family so yeah the colors are pretty similar and the shapes are similar 
Oh well. Okay. I do like this pose a lot better than the other one though. actually do need to get going pretty soon so I'm just gonna add a few um, little notches here probably call it a night I don't know if that's how I want them um, and I'll just work on this another time very invigorating film discussion though guys thank you for that that helps me distract myself from the fact that I really don't like this music <laughs> I mean, it's okay. I'm just really tired of ambient music at this point, but I didn't want to mess with having to deal with the sound jungle advertisement constantly in the music, so. Mm, I don't think I like that. I think I'm just going to do one. Just one notch, because what's a little asymmetry, right? Right. Oh my gosh. I was, you guys, when I saw how many Hobbit movies were coming out, I knew it was going to be terrible because A, okay, I'm going to go on a rant for a second. So A, The Hobbit is a super short book. I don't know if you guys have ever read it. Um, super short, super simple plot, like not a lot of depth. There's not, you can tell there's not a grander story happening in it. It's literally just like a little adventure story for kids. Okay. Like not a lot of character stuff happening, just like nothing really to expand upon. It was only after he wrote The Hobbit that he he decided to write Lord of the Rings and make like a more expanded universe and a language and like all that stuff. Like even the elves are totally different in The Hobbit than they are in the rest of Lord of the Rings. Like in The Hobbit, elves are like silly, jovial, singing, treetop swinging, like totally different. Um, anyway, so the fact that they took three thick, heavy, plot rich books and did one movie per and then turned around and d took The Hobbit and tried and made that into a trilogy. It was just like such an obvious cash cow. I just couldn't, I was so unhappy because I knew like you'd have to make stuff up or stretch it. And they did both with that plot. And the movie was still boring. I felt, I felt the movies were boring because there's just not that much going on. There's nothing that's worth sitting for three hours and watching. <laughs> anyway, that's my Hobbit rant because I really love the Lord of the Rings series and I love those books. And The Hobbit's not a bad book. It's just definitely not Hollywood trilogy material, in my opinion, I suppose. And that's what I think about that. There's my unsolicited opinion that you all were dying to hear, I'm sure. Um, let's see. Hollywood accounting is a real thing. There are many forms of it. The tax session one is you... you UWE Bull's career. I've never heard of that. That's crazy. Oh, Amazon's doing Lord of the Rings? Really? That's interesting. I hope they actually go into it more. Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. I'll have to look. Yeah, I just think you have some cool color variations in those pictures alone. Oh, thanks. I thought it was a little odd that you were doing the same colors, but reversed it with darker light spots and the light. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's just because I'm literally just drawing from the image. I was kind of trying to do one family at a time. So these are all in what's called the bubble snail family. So that's why they all have this round. It almost looks like a like a bubble. It's like they have a shell on the inside or something instead of the outside. Um, so th these are the most, the most snail-like of the sea slugs. And so I've done most of the ones on this page, actually. I think the only one I have... I haven't done this one or this one. I might... I don't know if I want to keep doing these, though, because they're all so similar. Like, the pictures I'm getting from them are kind of similar to me. Um, unless I just go with pure color scheme and just do something crazy. But yeah, so I just have those two and I don't know if I'm going to do them. And then I kind of wanted to like move through the families. And so the next one, the next group is these. And these are the butterfly solar powered slugs. So these are the ones that do photosynthesis. Um, they're pretty cool. And I'm really excited about doing these, even though they all kind of do look similar. So like there's going to be a lot of recurring themes as far as design probably in most of these, but I don't know. I just kind of wanted to finish one family at a time. So that's, that's part of why I didn't, um, I probably should have done like the purple one or this one or something, but oh well. 
Um, yeah, I'm excited. This one I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do very many from, since they're so similar and so subtle. I might just do one inspired by all of them and then move on. But I need to, I need to make more images like this because I've only got like six or seven. And there's, there's like hundreds and hundreds of sea slugs to go through. But I am excited about them. Yeah. Anyway. Boop. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah, it's I. It's something I've really, honestly, it's like a project I wanted to take, like, have wanted to take on for a few years now. It was one of the first things when I got here. I was trying to think of like prompts for me to just like projects for me to work on, just to like have something to post to social media and be active online and stuff and this was one of the first ideas I just was too chicken and I was still figuring out Photoshop and I wasn't sure that I was ready I still don't feel ready but I, I know that I will just have to learn at this point I'm just at peace with learning by doing <laughs> whereas before I was like no I need to have all the skills first but like that's the point of these projects is to increase your skill set so I've got a few more ideas of stuff I'd like to do in the future but this is just it's a fun design challenge too you know like how can you how can you solve this design problem they look like butterfly wing covered caterpillars right they're so cool aren't they cool I think they're super neat I thought the Hobbit was good not as good as Lord of the Rings but you could tell what was in the book and what wasn't yeah like all of the characterization of all of the dwarves that took up most of the movie yeah yeah I don't know I just I was not I was not super into it at all But I think it's just because, because to me it seemed like such an obvious cash grab. I just was very under, unimpressed with that whole, that whole business, whole cash grabby business. I don't know. Oops. Well, I could do like a creepy eye spot right here. It's like, ah. Uh, I don't know if I like it or not. Um, but yeah, I'll play around with this some more. Not sure what I want to do with everything yet. Should probably do since he has like a little brown spot. I know I said I was gonna be done, but now I'm getting involved again. Dang it. What's wrong with me? So he's got these cool little lines like stripes on him that I kinda wanna incorporate somehow. Anyway, something like this. I'll play with it some more. See what's doing. You admit a need, you need a new beloved trilogy to see with your dad every Christmas. I think, I mean, that's what my family does. We go see the Star Wars movies at Christmas usually. I think they did this year too, which is which is why I haven't seen it because I didn't go home for Christmas this year. We had Matt's family in town instead. Um, Mountain Christmas, so there was no Star Wars to be had. But I mean, I don't feel like I'm missing out on very much. <laughs> Not, it's not exactly my cup of tea. I don't mind it, it's just not. It's kind of meh. I 
Okay, let's get rid of this little color patch here because that's bothering me. There we go. And yeah, there we have it. Oh, I forgot a section. There's always more work to be done. I can't ever just stop. This is why I end up working until like two in the morning sometimes. <laughs> Which I can't do as much anymore because we get up at five to go to the gym. Blah. So I've had to curb that habit reg regardless of my feeling, which is kind of annoying. Cause like, you know how sometimes you just get in the, you just like get in the zone and you don't want to stop because you are on such a productive high kind of a thing. Like I hate, I kind of hate that I can't just like go with that. Oh well, okay. Mm, I will hate The Last Jedi, it reeks of Hollywood politics injection. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I probably will. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I have the extended editions of both trilogies. Yeah, I have the extended Lord of the Rings. I did not, I don't have any of the Hobbits, and I probably never will. Collecting fantasy films in a DVD collection. Hey, if you really like um, fantasy films, I don't know if you've seen it or heard of it, but you should check out The Tenth Kingdom. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a tongue-in-cheek fantasy. Like it knows it's kind of dumb, um, but it's pretty funny. And um, sorry, and it, uh, it's like a mini series, so it's only like seven episodes, but I think it's pretty funny. It's, so it's like a, I guess a ten-hour movie technically that they broke up into episodes. It's from like the 90s. Um, just watch Black Panther. Yeah. Well, yeah, I want to watch Black Panther, but I also need to see Coco. I think you missed this part of the conversation last. Um, but there's like a bunch of movies I haven't seen. And Black Panther and Coco are two of them. And I've heard good things about both. So I'm keeping those on my list and just kind of ignoring the others. Although I, I'm so sad about Guardians of the Galaxy, but thank you guys for telling me that it wasn't very good. I will probably still see it. I just... I think it's on Netflix right now, maybe? So I think I was gonna watch it. Stop messing with this. Ooh, but now I kind of want to give him a brown nose. <laughs> Maybe I don't, actually. I just kind of like having continuity with the spot patterns, you know? No, maybe not a brown nose. That might be a bad plan. Bad plan, Casey. Bad plan. I don't know. I'll play with the colors more later. I think for the most part I'm happy with this. Oh shoot, you guys know what I did? Oh my gosh. No! Why did I do this? Okay, it's still salvageable. I totally, oh man, I'm so bad at Photoshop. I did the spots, these, these spots, I did them on the same layer as the colors. Which the whole point of selecting them like this was to keep them on their own layer so that I could just do the color, like the spots of color underneath on the color layer and keep all those layers separate. But no, no, I couldn't do that. That would be too easy. That would make too much sense. I would have to remember what I was doing for five seconds. Oh me. So now I have to select them all. Try to work around it. I think I should inverse the selection, maybe. Oh shoot. 
Oh no, it'll still work. Okay, because I have it masked. Okay. Okay, I can do this. It'll be okay. I think I got all of them. Man, I can't believe I did that. Here. Okay. Uh. Alright, so now I've got to go... I don't know if you guys can see this, but... So now I've got to do select, modify... Contract? Expand? Contract. By one. I think that's about right. Maybe. Shoot, I don't know, I can't tell. Actually, they might be okay, as they are. Hmm, that part's kind of crappy. Maybe contract by one. Okay. Select, contract by one. Okay, that'll have to do. And then inverse. And it should, if all goes well, oh, no, don't, don't do that. Please don't do that to me. Okay. B, select, orange, overlay, and let's switch back to the airbrush. Hmm, nope, that's too bright. Yeah, this will be okay. Okay. Oop, that's a little strong though. Oops, sorry, I think my chat's messed up again. <laughs> what do I mean I've added all this color on the line art layer? Um, <laughs> flexibility, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm way behind on, on chat now. I need to include Christmas Story onto that list. I don't like the Christmas story that much. I know, dodge tomatoes, like that's a terrible thing to say. Very un-American. Family has said movies we watch over Christmas Eve. We do too. Um, we don't watch any of those though. We watch Frosty and Rudolph and like Charlie Brown Christmas. But we don't watch a whole lot of like the live action ones. Um, gonna game? Hey cool, no worries. See you later last. Thanks for hanging out. Um, what do you mean I've added all this color in the liner layer? Yeah. Yeah, I almost did that actually at the beginning of this. Now that you have the spot selected, just expand, copy, and paste, and you'll still have a version of the spots on the top. Oh, that's true. I could copy and paste, couldn't I? I could copy the layer. I could, I could. Oh, whoops, it deselected somehow. How did it do this? That's to inverse, boop. Okay. Triggered. <laughs> oh, really? You don't? Okay, nice. Yeah, I don't, I just, I've never really met other people who don't like that movie. <laughs> Most people really enjoy it, and I just am not one of them. I don't even know if you guys can tell that I'm doing anything, but... trying to very lightly kind of add some glow behind these on the brown just to give them that little bit of extra extra kick I think I might have to do an overlay here though since it changes color slightly there we go maybe a little less Oop, a little more No, that might look kind of dumb, but that's what it looks like in the picture, so I'm just going to do it. See what happens. It's a little dark. Yeah, I think the Christmas story just kind of freaked me out as a kid. <laughs> I didn't like how mean everybody was. Like, it scared me. 
And even though I know it's not a scary movie, like, in my head, for some reason, I still kind of associate it with, like, ooh, it's scary. Like, people are not nice. Don't like it. They all yell at each other. <laughs> like, I just, I specifically remember, like, the scene with the elf pushing him down the slide. It's like, Merry Christmas or something. I don't even know what he says, but I, like, specifically remember that as being part, like, the moment when I was like, I don't like this movie. <laughs> Like, I, d I had decided that I no longer wanted to watch it. Okay, well, let me see if I can add a little bit of bright to these, because they are a little dull. I need a lit, just a touch more yellow, maybe. I don't know, maybe that's too much yellow. Too much yellow? Just enough yellow? Indifferent yellow? <laughs> Yeah, I, w I felt the same way about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Alice in Wonderland. I didn't like any of those movies as a kid. I feel ya. I'm right there with you. I'm okay with it. Looks pretty alright. Not the best, but not the worst. By any stretch. Oh, I should have kept it selected. Hang on. Because I just noticed that these pale spots... Oh, shoot. Uh, inverse. These pale spots have some white in them. In the picture. Just a little. Not, don't go crazy, Casey. Come on, no. Calm down. Do you guys like how I talk to myself? <laughs> you guys are getting like an, a very good insight into my madness here. I'm such a self talker. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll do. The worst part was, was my brother, my middle brother loved Alice in Wonderland. That was like his favorite. Whoa. Don't do that. This is his favorite Disney movie. <laughs> I think he liked that one and he liked the Jungle Book. So I would always pick the Jungle Book when I was given the option. Because I knew he would be okay with it and we wouldn't have to watch Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I just did not like it at all. It was another one of those, like, everybody's mean to each other and it's kind of weird and creepy. Like, everybody's kind of crazy, and I just didn't want to be around. I didn't want to spend time looking at the crazy. Oh, the Tim Burton? Yeah, I didn't like that one either. But I also just am not a fan of Alice Wonderland in general. I think I read the books, and the book was okay. Or not the books, but I read the book through the looking glass, and it was okay. Um. But I didn't like the movies. Well, I think I'm. An, I think I'm accidentally done. Like I was gonna stop and just save the work, but I don't I need to do some shading. But other than that, I think that's I think that's about all she wrote. I kind of want to blend. I feel like these brown lines are just a little too stark. I kind of want to blend them away. I don't know. I'll think about it tomorrow. Oh, thanks, Doodlebot. I needed to save. Oh yeah, the hot the animated hobbits or Lord of the Rings or whatever. Yeah, those were creepy looking. For sure. Wasn't that um Oh, what's their name? 
Wasn't that the same company that did like Rudolph and all the claynation? What were they called? Bass, Bass and Rank Rankin and Bass. I think wasn't that Rankin and Bass? I feel like it was. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of those as a kid. As an adult, when I went back and watched them, I really liked them. But oh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Tim Burton Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, I, I really didn't like either of those films to be honest. So you're in good company. <laughs> Yes, Amaze, you're so right. I've never understood that song's popularity. It's so annoying. And you know what's funny is I remember like playing DDR when I was in high school, and that was like a song on the DDR selection list. And I was like, why? This, this song is so out of place. It's so boring. Nobody, who likes this song? <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. Last Christmas is a silly, it's not, it, it just feels like a Beach Boys <laughs> song <laughs> to me. It's not a Christmas song, it's just a pop song. But, I digress. Um, yeah, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna have to sign off for the night, though. It is 8.30 and I need to go get showered and cleaned up and uh, go to bed to be ready to face an early day tomorrow, so. Thank you guys for hanging out. It was, um, always a pleasure. And I appreciate the company and the good conversation. Thank you for the invigorating film discussion very fun um but yeah i think um i think i'm out for tonight and i'll be streaming again on friday no idea what definitely sculpting on saturday but i'm not sure about friday uh so yeah i'm gonna close that in this yeah but you guys have a great rest of your week and a great rest of your night or your morning and i will hopefully see you guys another time night